They've been the true heroes of this pandemic, working directly with those hit hardest by COVID-19. Healthcare workers are on the front lines in the fight against this virus, but while they are treating patients, who is looking out for them? In part four of our six part series, we look at the risks medical staff working with COVID positive patients take physically, mentally and emotionally and how Unity Point Health and Mercy One are stepping up to help those who spend their lives helping others. Working, you know, 12 hour shifts in full PPE, gowns, masks, gloves, face shields, uh, that is taxing work. What they do anyway is extremely, um, can be extremely difficult, challenging work, and then you put people in full PPE, it makes it even more difficult. As all eyes turn to the fight against COVID-19, healthcare workers were the front line of defense. When you have a patient, you know, in the ICU, very sick, and the treatments are not working, and the disease is continuing and causing damage to the body, and things don't continue to work, it puts a lot of stress um, on the caretakers of the patient who are actively involved in their care. Unlike better known diseases, care of COVID-19 patients was unknown to start. We as healthcare workers, physicians, nurses, anybody are trained to treat people. We like to see people get better and go home. Um, we know that when we treat patients for pneumonia or CHF, COPD or other conditions, we know we give them these medications and they will get better. And at least 99% of patients do get better. There will be some who will not make it through it, but most of them should. The danger wasn't only for the frontline workers, but for their families. And at the time when we were going through it, you know, they have families they go home to. Are they, are they bringing anything home? There was a lot of psychological stress for them in terms of they wanted to be here working, serving their patients, but yet they have lives, they have families. And how do you balance that? That, you know, do what's right for the patient, keep our staff members safe, but yet have them be able to go home and try to live a normal life. It was a very delicate balance. It is stressful and it's not just stressful because we're taking care of COVID patients, it's also because our co-workers could be exposed. Um, we also always have the fear of taking this deadly virus back home to our near and dear ones and we try not to do that by maintaining utmost cleanliness as possible when we use PPEs. Staff working in the COVID wards stayed there all day to preserve PPE. Working in those closed units uh, was a challenge because the staff felt isolated. Uh, they, they knew that we, they knew why we did it. We, I felt like we did a pretty good job with communication. They understood why we did it to, to protect them. Uh, but it still, they felt, you know, they weren't seeing us. They weren't necessarily seeing the providers. Uh, so they did feel isolated. Even outside of COVID wards, there is little relief. I think the hardest moments were um, that we didn't have so much face to face. You know, there were not, staff wasn't in the hallways. The cafeteria was closed. Our meetings were all virtual. So that connection that you get with somebody else, with your team members, when you really operate as one team like we do, I think that was the hardest thing. We were all a little bit isolated from each other. As cases are on the rise again, Unity Point Health St. Luke's is worried that another surge is looming. It's, it's a little scary when you have gone through what they did and we've come down from that, but then all of a sudden you start to creep up with uh, the numbers of patients. Uh, I would suspect there's there's several staff members that it worries them. Are we going to get back to that same situation? If you missed any of our stories this week, you can find them at the top of our website, SulanNews.com, and tune in for part five tomorrow, where it's all about the Siouxland community and how they've stepped up to help our local frontline heroes.